Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing these two shape tape foundations, the hydrating and the matte foundation. So if you're interested, don't click out of the video, just keep watching and then I will be reviewing these two foundations. I already did my makeup for the day. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Today I'm going to be reviewing the Shape Tape Foundation by Tarte and I wanted to do this, um, I bought both of them, the Hydrating and the Matte. I'm excited to try these out with like a full face of makeup um, and as you can see I'm breaking out again because I've been stressing so I wanted to like review these while I had these zits on my face to see if it was like a full coverage foundation for those people that have a little zits and acne to see how it would work for their skin. So first I'm going to be applying the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and this is an oil free primer. Okay so to put the foundation on I'm going to be using the Morphe Beauty Blender. To put this on my skin I actually just got this beauty blender because my other one was like so messed up so I just got it so I wanted to like try it out and see how it works but any beauty blender would work um, so I'm gonna be putting on a matte side and then a hydrating side just to see what the difference is so I'm just gonna be putting like little lines on my face so I'm just going to start blending. It is setting really good. I don't know. I feel like it just sucked up. I feel like the foundation just like into my skin. Because I don't even see it anymore. Like it looks like skin. Maybe a little bit too dry to the people that have dry skin. You can still see my little pimples, but this is really dry. So next I'm going to be using the hydrating foundation by the other side of my face. And I'm going to be doing the same thing, making sure that my acne and like I have a whole bunch of like little red spots right here. I'm making sure that those are covered. And my nose. Wow, my nose is really dry right now. So maybe the hydrating foundation will work better for my dry skin. Yeah, you can still see my red spots on the hydrating foundation. This foundation is definitely drying out my pimples. It's the matte foundation. So I don't know how I feel about this that it honestly looks like skin which that part i like but i don't like how like it's not really like a full coverage foundation like you have to build it up so i would say it's about like medium coverage for those people that have acne um so you definitely need to use concealer so i'm gonna go ahead and go get my shape tape concealer and then i'll be right back okay so i'm gonna be using my shape tape concealer in the color light medium honey and I'm going to be applying this all the areas that I conceal so you can tell it's definitely lighter it's definitely lighter than the foundation for sure because this is a light medium honey so I'm just going to be applying that under my eye and right here and let me just contour my face too while I'm at it and I'm really messy when I contour if you can't tell but I figure everything's gonna be blended out anyways right all right let's go ahead and blend okay so I noticed on my camera stopped filming. 
and I already did my eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go off camera and finish my makeup and then I will give you guys a final review on what I thought on the foundations. So overall when comparing these two foundations, this is a hydrating and then this is a matte. So I put the hydrating on this side and I put the matte on this side. So overall I feel like after when you put on your face, um, I cannot tell the difference to as which foundation I put on like in terms of um, this one looks a little bit more luminous or this one looks a little bit more drying and um, at the end when I set my face like both foundations ended up looking exactly alike um, but that being said the hydration when I put that on I felt like it barely had any coverage I did have to put around two layers of foundation to cover my acne as you can see it is covered now because i put concealer you do have to wear concealer with this if you want your acne covered in terms of the matte foundation i put a layer on it covered i felt like i needed to put another layer on top of my acne to cover it a little bit more and on top of that the concealer just so that i can get that full full coverage foundation um, I would say that this is a medium foundation for both shades and it just depends on your skin I feel um, if you are a little bit on the drier side I recommend getting the hydrating foundation and if you are a little bit more oily then I feel like you should get the matte foundation um, so it just depends on your skin it depends how oily it depends how acne how much acne you have on your face it depends if you want your bumps to show I feel like I like the matte side a little bit more um, you can tell my under eye area on this side is covered um, has a little bit more coverage than this side like you can still see my fine lines my under eye area looks a little bit more brighter than the hydrating side so I feel like I would go with the with the matte foundation but so this would be first place the matte foundation and I feel like the hydrating would be second place just because I like a more like coverage foundation even though it does dry out my skin I feel like I could work with that by just moisturizing my skin and it covers more of the areas that I want to cover. So that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on your thoughts on what you thought about these foundations. I feel like maybe they were a little bit too overhyped, so people had high expectations for them. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and then I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, see you later. So, today I'm going to be reviewing the Tarte shape. Oh.